Oh boy, the new version is coming. Can't wait to pull for... Ah, shit. So, the 1.4 version is coming on the 11th of October. And well, so are these characters. Not all of them at once, obviously. The patch itself will be split in two, where Jing Liu is coming in the first half of the patch, whereas Topaz and Sila, yes, you heard me right, are coming in the second half of the patch. And if you're in the same situation as me, which hopefully you're not, you gotta choose which units to go for. So, in this video, we are going to be discussing all of the units coming in the latest version of the game, and which one of them should you guys aim for. In the 1.4 version, we are going to be having 4 units, which are Jing Liu, Sopas, Gunaivan, and Sila. First, let's talk about Jing Liu. Jing Liu is a 5 star ice DPS that follows the path of destruction. She can deal big damage by consuming a small portion of HP from your other units. Wait, really? Yes, but from what I see in the livestream, it's not that much. So her basic attack is pretty simple. She will deal ice damage to a single unit on the field. Her skill will pretty much do the same thing though, just much stronger. And she also gains one stack of sissy. Sissy. Hold on one sec. Sissy. Yeah, I don't know, man. Her ultimate will deal ice damage to a single enemy and the enemies beside it, therefore making this attack a burst AoE type attack. Plus, she will also gain one stack of Sisigi as well. Now these stacks are actually the ones that will boost her damage by a lot. When Jing Liu has two stacks of Sisigi, she will enter an enhanced state where all of her attacks will consume the HP of your other allies, but in doing so increases her attack as well. And yes, it's for both of her skill and ultimate. During this state, her skill will be enhanced, making it a burst AoE style attack similar to her ultimate, and she will not be consuming skill points. Instead, she will consume the Sisigi stacks that is currently available, and when the stack reaches zero, she'll revert back to her normal form. So when I first saw her kit and her mechanics, I can see that she is similar to Blade in a way, with all the enhanced attack and AoE skills. But she does need more investment than him in terms of gears. Also, I think that she will pair up pretty nicely with Fushuan, since Fushuan can temporarily increase the HP of your allies, therefore enabling Jing Liu to consume more HP and increase her attack even more. To be fair, with those, you can take away all of my HP, baby. Oh! Okay, enough of Jing Liu. Let's talk about Topaz. So Topaz is a 5-star fire DPS following the path of the hunt. Even though she follows the path of the hunt, most of her damage came from her follow-up attack partner, Numbi, which is first of its kind. Her skill will inflict an enemy with the proof of depth status. Now, enemies that are currently in the state will receive more damage from follow-up attacks, whether it's from Numbi or from other allies. After inflicting the enemy with the state, Numbi will immediately attack the enemy, and if none of the enemies on the field have the state, Topaz will randomly inflict the proof of depth status to a random enemy at the start of an ally's turn. So here's the thing about the proof of depth status that Topaz inflicts. Essentially, this status is like a target for Numbi to attack. And boy that thing will attack. Besides that, if a follow-up attack from an ally hits the enemy with this status, Numbi's action will be immediately advanced forward, therefore making it attack even quicker. Sounds crack, right? Well, wait until you see her ultimate. So her ultimate is more like a buff instead of actually attacking enemies. Well, it only buffs the Trotter though, so don't get your hopes up. Her ultimate will boost Numbi's damage and crit damage, plus in this state, every time an enemy with the proof of depth status got hit by an ally, Numbi's attack will be advanced forward. Before, only fall up damage can do this. God, this is just OP. Other than that though, one more thing that makes Topaz so great is that this. During the Topaz banner, there will be a second banner that you can pull for, which is Sila. And you can also pull for Gunaivan as one of the 4 stars in both banners. So TLDR, Sila is a 5 star quantum DPS that follows the path of the hunt. 
She's mostly a single target DPS, but also works really well in AoE stages due to her talent that allows her to move again if she eliminates an enemy. And she is also one of the core members of the Mono Quantum team. By the way, if you guys want to know more info about the Mono Quantum team, you guys can check out the video on the top right corner of your screen. And in the meantime, subscribe. The latest 4 star unit, Gunaivan, is a fire sub DPS unit running on the Nihility path. And from what I see, she'll inflict damage over time to the enemies and the fire kiss effect which will increase damage received of the enemies inflicted with this effect. So if you're broke like me, on Jades I mean, nothing more, which one should you guys aim for? I would say if you're new to the game, then Jing Liu would probably be the safest option since her kit is built to be a main damage dealer and you need good damage dealers to progress easily. Her team comp is also a fairly simple one. All you need is the usual buffer healer defensive support team comp and you should be good to go. I think she'll be somewhat similar to Blade in terms of damage but we'll probably have to wait a week or two to confirm it, so yeah. Topaz is a weird one for me though, since she's the first of her kind, and I don't really know what to expect. I've had my experience with units that have fall-up damage before, but not gonna lie, I am quite optimistic here. I feel like if paired with the right comp, she will deal huge damage, especially with her ult literally buffing that fall-up damage. I would say if you want to pull for her, wait for like a week until we can confirm how good she will actually be. Personally though, I would be pulling for her since I really like her design, if you know what I mean. Also another thing to consider when pulling for Topaz is that the chance of actually getting Gunaivan. I feel like she'll be a good addition to the Kafka DOT team and she'll be a good alternative for Sampo with the fire kiss effect that she will inflict. How about Sila? Well, Sila is a certified badass DPS in the Honkai Star Rail community. And personally, she's a really good unit to have. But she's not the best. I know, I know, I've said it. I'm not saying that Sila is bad by any means. In fact, she's one of the best DPS out there. I can vouch for that. It's just that with the release of other DPS characters like Don Hung, Blade, and quite possibly Jing Liu, she might fall down the pecking order a bit. She is a really good unit to have though, and if you are planning to build the Mono Quantum team, then you should probably pull for her. Yeah, you should just actually pull for her. At the end of the day though, pull for whichever characters you like, cause personally, I am going to go all in on top of us since I really like her design. And if I have some jades left, I am going to try and get a dupe for my Sila. But still that top us though. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys find this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.